Going public through an initial public offering IPO, is a significant milestone for a company, allowing it to raise capital, increase its visibility, and provide liquidity to its investors. In this video, we will delve into the world of IPOs, understanding the process, the advantages and disadvantages, and the implications for both the company and investors. The IPO Process An IPO is a meticulously planned and regulated process that transforms a privately held company into a publicly traded one. Here's a breakdown of the typical IPO process. Hiring key professionals The company assembles a team of experts, including investment banks, underwriters, lawyers, and auditors, to guide them through the IPO journey. Financial Statements The company prepares audited financial statements and disclosures, offering transparency to potential investors. SEC Filing The company submits a registration statement to the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, or the relevant regulatory body in their jurisdiction, providing essential information about the company's financials, operations, risks, and management. Roadshow a roadshow is conducted to market the IPO to institutional investors, analysts, and potential shareholders. Company executives and underwriters present the business, its prospects, and the offering's details. Pricing After gauging investor interest during the roadshow, the underwriters set the IPO's price per share. Trading Debut The company's shares are listed on a stock exchange, marking its transition from private to public. The first day of trading is a crucial event, and the stock's performance is closely watched. Advantages of an IPO Access to capital IPOs provide a significant infusion of capital for the company, which can be used for various purposes, including expansion, debt reduction, and research and development. Liquidity for investors IPOs allow early investors and employees to sell their shares, realizing gains and providing liquidity. Enhanced visibility. Going public increases a company's visibility, attracting attention from analysts, the media, and potential customers. Credibility and transparency. Publicly traded companies are subject to regulatory oversight and reporting requirements, which can enhance their credibility and transparency. Disadvantages of an IPO. Costs and fees. The process of going public is expensive, involving underwriting fees, legal costs, and ongoing compliance expenses. Regulatory Compliance Public companies must adhere to numerous regulatory requirements, including financial reporting, disclosure, and governance standards. Loss of Control Public shareholders, including institutional investors, have a say in the company's decisions, potentially reducing the founder's control. Short-Term Pressures Public companies may face short-term pressures to meet earnings expectations, which can hinder long-term strategic planning. Implications for investors Investors looking to participate in IPOs should be aware of the following considerations. Volatility Newly public companies often experience price volatility, so investors should be prepared for fluctuating stock prices. Due diligence Conduct thorough research on the company, its financials, and the industry before investing. Lockup periods. Some early investors and employees may be subject to lockup agreements, restricting them from selling shares for a specified period. Underwriters. Understand the role of the underwriters and the impact they can have on the IPO's success. In conclusion, an IPO is a complex and transformative process for a company offering both opportunities and challenges. It provides access to capital, liquidity for early investors, and increased visibility, but it comes with substantial costs, regulatory compliance, and the potential loss of control. Investors should approach IPOs with caution, conducting thorough due diligence and being prepared for the associated risks and uncertainties.